In a world that continues to grapple with the harsh realities of climate change and the global energy crisis, the prospect of a car that requires no fuel, no charging stations, and no environmental damage is nothing short of revolutionary. Yet, when Zimbabwean inventor Maxwell Chikambutso unveiled his self-sustaining car, powered by radio frequencies, instead of celebrating his breakthrough, the scientific community dismissed it, and powerful forces seemed intent on suppressing it. Chikambutso's revolutionary idea could potentially rewrite the rulebook for transportation and energy consumption globally. Imagine a vehicle that, rather than relying on gasoline, diesel, or even electric charging, harnesses the energy found in radio waves, a ubiquitous form of energy that has been around for decades but rarely utilized to power an entire vehicle. The ramifications for industries dependent on fossil fuels and electric vehicles EVs, could be profound, and if true, it could signify the dawn of a new era of sustainability and global energy independence. However, instead of support, Chikambutso's invention has faced fierce resistance and has been unable to gain a foothold in the global scientific community. What makes Maxwell Chikambutso's self-powered car such an extraordinary invention? What's behind the patent wars and the apparent suppression of his breakthrough? And why are so many invested in keeping this invention under wraps? Let's take a closer look at this controversial scientific battle and uncover the forces that might be working against it. Maxwell Chikambutso, a Zimbabwean inventor and entrepreneur, claims to have developed a car that runs entirely on energy extracted from radio frequencies. This innovation, known as the radio wave-powered vehicle, allegedly harnesses the energy present in radio waves and converts it into usable power to fuel the car's engine. The concept is groundbreaking. If it is as functional as Chikambutso claims, the vehicle would completely eliminate the need for petrol, diesel, or electricity for propulsion. At its core, Chikambutso's invention is based on the idea of harnessing ambient radio waves, radio frequency electromagnetic energy, that is omnipresent in the environment. Whether it's from radio broadcasts, Wi-Fi signals, or cellular data, these radio waves are constantly circulating. Chikambutso believes that his technology can tap into this energy and convert it into usable power for a car's engine, thereby eliminating the need for traditional fuel sources. For a car to operate without the need for fossil fuels or regular charging seems like the holy grail of modern transportation technology. This breakthrough could drastically reduce global dependence on oil and gas, lower carbon emissions, and help mitigate the effects of climate change. Moreover, for Africa, where access to reliable energy sources is often scarce, this invention could be a game-changer, fostering greater industrialization and energy independence. While Chikambutso's invention sounds promising, it also brings a considerable amount of skepticism, particularly from the Western scientific community. Critics argue that the concept violates some of the fundamental laws of physics, especially the principle of energy conservation. According to this principle, energy cannot be created from nothing, it can only be transformed from one form to another. The idea of harvesting energy from radio waves to power an entire vehicle could be seen as bordering on the impossible, according to many traditional physicists. In theory, radio waves are a form of electromagnetic energy that exists in vast quantities around us. However, converting this energy into usable power in significant quantities, especially enough to power a car, is not something that has been demonstrated in mainstream science. Critics of Chikambutso's invention argue that without peer-reviewed studies and independent testing, his claims remain speculative at best. Still, the fact that Chikambutso has continued to work on the project and insists on the viability of his technology raises important questions. What if he has found a way to tap into these energy sources in a way that the scientific community has not yet fully understood? And if so, what does it mean for the future of transportation and energy? One of the most troubling aspects of Chikambutso's journey has been the difficulty he has faced in obtaining patents for his technology. Despite multiple attempts, 
Chikambutso has reportedly been denied patents by various patent offices, including in Western countries. The primary reason for these rejections seems to be the claim that his technology defies well-established scientific principles. For an invention to be patented, it generally needs to be based on ideas that have clear scientific and practical foundations. Given the skepticism surrounding Chikambutso's claims, patent offices have been reluctant to approve his applications. It's also worth noting that Chikambutso has faced significant resistance from organizations and individuals with vested interests in the status quo. Traditional energy industries and automotive giants have long relied on fossil fuels and electric vehicles, and any disruptive innovation in energy storage or vehicle propulsion poses a direct threat to their market dominance. These industries have substantial political and economic influence, and their resistance to new technologies is not new. Whether overt or covert, these forces may be actively suppressing Chikambutso's invention in order to protect their profits and interests. Maxwell Chikambutso's experience is not unique. Many African inventors and entrepreneurs face significant challenges in getting their innovations recognized on the global stage. African inventors often struggle to gain the support and recognition they deserve from international institutions and funding bodies. Whether it's due to racism, a lack of infrastructure, or the Western-centric nature of the scientific community, African innovations are frequently overlooked or dismissed. In the case of Chikambutso's self-powered car, it is particularly concerning that such a potentially groundbreaking invention is being suppressed rather than explored. If this technology proves to be viable, it could dramatically alter not only the global transportation landscape but also the energy sector. African countries, many of which are energy poor, could greatly benefit from a self-sustaining vehicle that eliminates the need for expensive fuel imports or large-scale charging infrastructures. Chikambutso's invention has the potential to bring about real change, not just in Africa but around the world. One of the key criticisms leveled against Chikambutso's technology is the lack of independent testing and peer-reviewed validation. While Chikambutso himself insists that his vehicle works, without rigorous scientific testing and independent verification, it remains difficult to prove the technology's effectiveness. In the highly competitive world of scientific discovery, peer-reviewed research is the gold standard for validating new technologies. However, given the widespread resistance to the technology, it's also possible that Chikambutso has faced significant challenges in finding impartial testers or investors willing to take the risk of promoting his invention. Without these crucial steps, the vehicle remains speculative, and Chikambutso's claims may never fully materialize in the eyes of the scientific world. Chikambutso has also gone on record to state that he and his partner have been targeted in ways that suggest an active effort to suppress their work. Whether through subtle intimidation tactics or overt interference, Chikambutso believes that there are powerful forces actively working against the success of his invention. The stakes are high. If his technology were to be proven true, it could disrupt entire industries, including the oil and gas sector, traditional automotive manufacturing, and even the electric vehicle market. Some of these industries might see the invention as a threat to their profit models and market dominance. In such a high-stakes environment, it's not difficult to imagine that such forces could resort to underhanded tactics to prevent this new technology from taking off. If Maxwell Chikambutso's self-powered car is proven to work as claimed, it could be one of the most disruptive technological breakthroughs in history. The implications for the global energy landscape are vast. A self-sustaining vehicle could make fossil fuels obsolete, reduce dependence on electricity grids, and pave the way for a cleaner, greener, and more sustainable future. It could also be a vital tool in reducing carbon emissions and helping to slow down the devastating effects of climate change. Moreover, Africa stands to benefit greatly from this innovation. The continent, which faces numerous challenges related to energy access, could see a significant boost in its industrial capacity, 
job creation, and technological advancement if such a technology were fully realized and adopted. Despite the potential of Chikambutso's invention, the biggest challenge remains the question of who controls the technology. Without proper investment, especially from African-led ventures, there is a real risk that this technology could be either suppressed or monopolized by external interests. Whether it's large corporations or foreign governments, those with the financial and political power to control the flow of technology could stand in the way of its widespread adoption, thus depriving Africa of a potentially game-changing opportunity. Maxwell Chikambutso's self-powered car represents a vision of the future, one where energy is clean, sustainable, and available without reliance on finite resources. However, the journey to bring this innovation to the world has been fraught with obstacles, skepticism and suppression. Whether the scientific community and global stakeholders will ultimately embrace or reject Chikambutso's work remains to be seen. What is clear however, is that the forces that stand to benefit from the status quo will fight hard to maintain control, and the question remains. Will Africa's voice be heard, or will this groundbreaking technology be silenced forever?